everybody. We got ourselves another NECA Mirage TMNT, East Minute Laird's. Uh, it is of my girl, Renette. Um, now, let me know, guys, how do you pronounce it? I pronounce it Renette, but I've seen online Renette, Renee, I believe uh, the 2003 series pronounces it one way, and then the 2011 or 12 series pronounces it a different way. And I think Eastman said it was one way, and then Laird said it was another way. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I saw that somewhere on a video on Renette. So, yeah, no one really knows how to pronounce her name. Kind of like Rachel Ghoul. How do you guys pronounce that? As I, obviously, I pronounce it Rachel Ghoul. Do you guys say Rachel Ghoul? Rays, Rach, Rach, whatever. Um, anyways. We got my girl, Renette Tilly. She is the uh, time-traveling friend of the Turtles. Appeared very early on in the comics. I believe she appeared in issue 8, so very early on. Time Travels with the Turtles has appeared in only two of the cartoon series. I believe just about all the main comic lines. Her scepter appears in TMNT 3 and in the background of TMNT 2007. But she is never used. And I believe she was supposed to be introduced in the 80s series, but never was. Um, not exactly sure why. Now, I will say this. She is all brown and red here. And I thought that was correct. Apparently not. Because then I was looking up and I was like, oh, her first cover is blue. She's wearing blue. But I was like, that could be like a Scarlet Witch Quicksilver type of thing. You know how they were colored differently in their first appearance, even though they weren't on the inside. But Ninja Turtles used to be black and white, so you couldn't really tell what color it was. But in 2012 series cartoon and 2003 cartoon, she has been blue. And in the IDW series, she has worn blue. Um, also, fun fact, Ellie from The Last of Us voices Renette in the 2012 series. So I've now unboxed two Ashley Johnson figures. Um, and then I was, to me, the red seemed correct. I thought it was weird when I saw, because they have a blue variant of this, oops, of this figure, and I thought it was weird that they had that. Apparently that's not weird. Apparently that is how she was supposed to be, and the red and brown is from the Color Classics reprints of the Turtle comics, which I read. That's how I read most of the original Turtles line. So that's probably why I thought this seemed correct. For some reason they made her red and brown in the Color Classics, and then NECA designed her after that for some reason this is the main one and then the variant like exclusive toy is the blue one which now I feel like I kind of need that one but that one also seems weird to me so yeah anyways let's get into the full-on review she has a cape red and black uh, with a little wiry that does some bending we have her head with the uh, little hooded area up which here I have it to where it can it's like folded down and her hair's out her blonde hair and then there's the time scepter lots of clocks all around her her like body area here torso it's like rubbery ish um, then we have oh my lord then we have her little hat helmet with clocks on it I discovered earlier today that this sticks very firmly. Like, look at that. I'm just holding the helmet. I also thought this was one and the same. Like, I didn't think it would come apart. And then we have, uh, what is his name? Vasanti, Vasanti Romero. Is that the right name? His head, which it's been forever since I've read the comics. So maybe his head takes over. I remember his head, like, floating in the comics. But I don't know why would, they would have a ball joint area for a head. So maybe he takes over her body in the comics and I just don't remember that. We have a scroll, a little dagger, and then we have two fists, an open hand, and then on, he, on her person she has oh, a gripped hand and another open hand. Her shoulder pads are like a rubbery feeling so that you can actually move her arms around. Good articulation in the legs. Does the, no, not at the ankle, well the ankle, but the boots don't swivel. Um, you know, the 
do a nice split there, bring it all the way around. Bring our arms up and down. And then let's see, arms bend. Yes, yeah, so she's got good articulation, not too tight anywhere um, that I'm noticing at the moment. Um, head swivels around. Let's swap her back to her main head. Hat on her. Looking great, Renette. Looking great. Um, yeah. Oh, whoops. So now we have Renette Fugitoid out of this new wave because it shows on the back here that it looks like an Utram of some sort and Casey Jones are coming. And then I know we have the Turtles, uh, some Mousers, I think, Shredder, some Foot Soldiers. Maybe April. I don't think Splinter yet. I don't know about Stockman. But yeah, this is a really awesome figure. I really enjoy it. I think she looks great. Um, the boxes are about the same. I like the consistency. Um, it's weird that there's no hook. So no matter where you're getting these, you have to get them on a sh get them off a shelf. But yeah, very nice. Um, explain to me down below, guys. Let let me know how you pronounce her name, and also let me know what color you prefer for Renette. What are you used to? Is it blue or red? Because I'm now realizing it's always been blue, even though for some reason I really was remembering red. And from what I found online, it seems like the only reason I would have thought it would be red was because of the Color Classics comics. So let me know about that, guys. Um, she stands up pretty well. I got her, oh, well, of course, every time I say that, that's when they don't want to stand anymore. Um, yeah, so. Not a bad figure at all. And I love that the helmet goes on and off so easily. So y'all a little bit closer one more time. Yeah. Oh, well that's still pretty cool she landed. I was gonna see how tight the helmet could stay on her, but not that tight. But yeah, that's it guys. If you guys plan on getting a Renette action figure, shop local come on into the store and until next time guys uh don't mess with the time scepter like renette does